Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the Marvel Universe Iron Man. Of course, um, this is the Iron Man modeled after how he appeared in Warren Ellis' Extremis. Of course, I'm a very nice looking Iron Man. Of course, you can see the very nice box art up here. Over here you would have, have the hammer logo where you normally have the shield logo. You can see his base and packaging along with what looks to be the same blast they package every Iron Man with in this line. Not too crazy about that, but chances of me displaying him with the blast were slim at best. Of course, you can see his secret files in the back, on the back of the packaging. Let's take care of this glare on the box. And his little bit says, When Tony Stark was injected with extremists, it was an act of desperation to save his life. It was unknown what the untested nanotech virus would do to him in the end. However, it expanded his mind, enhanced his abilities, and rebuilt his body into a living weapon. Granted full cybernetic interface with his armor and any nearby technology, he became truly invincible and nearly unstoppable. Of course, down here you have a picture of um, World War II Cap, Luke Cage, and Bucky. And a picture of Norman in his hammer uniform and it says, Become a agent of Hammer today. So, of course, as we've seen online, the whole PuryFiles.com thing is either not working currently or they haven't started it back up. I don't know. But, um, this line, it's been kind of eh for me. Now, um, I have enjoyed the Iron Man's from um, Hasbro's Iron Man 2 line, so maybe this is the right direction to go. That being said, let's pull this bad boy out of packaging. And here we have Iron Man out of packaging. Now, um, I've got to say, right off the bat, very nice detailing on Iron Man. I really like the color of his paint, and um, the figure really shines as far as detail once you get him out. Figure the devil, let's get a full 360 of this guy. Um, Very nice. Now, unfortunately, when I pulled him out of packaging, his knees are pretty loose. As I've said in a lot of these reviews, um, I've had a lot of problems with the Marvel Universe figures coming out of loose, and from the comments I've got, it seems like there's a lot of people out there who have the same issue with the majority of this line. Some people think I'm making that up. Um, check the comments. There's other people with this problem, and I don't see why I would lie about a figure. Um, I don't go into any line wanting not to like it. You know, I wouldn't spend money on it if I didn't want to like it. So, um, the legs are unfortunate, but um, the base helps a lot with that. Now, if he didn't have a base like some of the earlier figures, that would be an issue, but once you've got him connected here, which I'm having a small issue doing, it's not a huge deal. Of course, um, you have his standard blast that I said it seems to be very similar to the one that comes with all Iron Mans from this line, which is um, just a simple little clip-on piece, which I'm assuming you can pop right here on the wrist. And there you go. Um, I'm not crazy about the way that looks, but once again, it's not like they're forcing you to display it with it. I think maybe if you had two of these, you can kind of put Iron Man in a somewhat of a flying pose with two, these two kind of acting like with two of these kind of acting like blast off bases I don't know maybe um of course let's pull him off the base and get a look at his base here it says Iron Man number seven of course Marvel on it and of course let's get a look at his detail really quick like I already said very nice on this guy let's pull this up Oops. Uh, Marvel Universe's strength definitely seems to be suited to making helmets and masked faces, you know, or at least faces that the majority is covered by a mask. Because that Iron Man face is pretty decent compared to some of the other crap we've got in this line. So you can see a very nice level of paint all down his armor. Some very nice detail in his shoes there. I'm really digging this guy. Just all around good stuff. So panning back out. Of course, right, let's pull him off his base. His articulation, um, he does 360 degrees at the head, up and down. Um, his shoulder pads go up and down. Arms go out to about here. Both bend at the elbow and spin at the wrist. He also has his chest articulation. Um, once again, pretty loose in the knees here, but he doesn't appear to go out, but he can go forward slightly. Double jointed at the knee, even though it is a little loose. And um, slight ankle articulation, although pretty hindered by the way his armor is. So, um, Extremist Iron Man will run you about, I think these are about $750. Um, I've said it before, price could stand to drop. And, you know, overall I've had a lot of problems with this line. But I've got to say, this is one of those rare gems out of this line where I actually really like the figure. 
Um, I think it's a really good interpretation. I think the paint is great. I think the design is great. Now, I've got to say, if you're an Iron Man fan, I would definitely pick this guy up. So that being said, this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube. Sorry, guys. Once again, um, I always forget about these things. I always lay them to the side, and they slip my mind before the end of the review. So, um, of course, let's pull these out. Of course, your code. Once again, it's pretty pointless. Uh, picture of Iron Man. On the back here, you have his little hero card. Or, um, Superhuman Registration Act card. You know, just the standard little, little spiel about Tony's, um, stats. It says, Powers. Because of Extremist Virus, Stark is able to store inner layers of armor in his body, heightened reaction speed, healing factor, and augmented strength, genius level intellect. So, um, on to his little quote. And it says, From Victoria Hand on August 14th at 4.03 a.m. to Norman Osborn, subject Extremis. A quick update on our work with Extremis. Our scientists are having difficulty figuring out how exactly it functions and why it enhances some while harming others. We need Maya Hansen working on this. What we do know is that it worked very well on Tony Stark. Since he, his exposure to it, he has developed a healing factor as well as a fully symbiotic relationship to his armor. He interfaces completely with any nearby tech. Stark tech, you'll recall, was optimized for this interface, which keeps him wired into the local communications grid and amps up his reaction time immeasurably. We're working on how the scrolls use this networking capability to attack him and should have a functioning version of the scroll virus soon. Victoria Hand sent from my OS Barry. So, um, once again, pretty neat they throw those little files in. I mean, they don't really add anything to the figure. I was told that these um, little codes in the first place got you a free Nick Fury figure. I don't know if they're going to give us a free Osborn figure eventually or what. But um, that being said, once again, Iron Man is one of the few out of this line. I really highly recommend it. That being said, this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.